My name is Elaine Clyburn, and I've been an Orpheum volunteer since 1993. It has been a tremendously interesting experience, to say the least. But the situation or circumstance or story that I remember most, or the experience that I remember most, was during the last few years when we had school shows and very many of the schools and uh, other parts of the city uh, might have been daycare centers or what have you. But anyway, they would bring um, a class or more of students who generally the most interesting ones, of course, were the smaller children because they were just in awe. To see them walk into the Orpheum, they really were kind of divided into two groups as far as their expressions were concerned. Every once in a while, there would be a child who would say very quickly, as soon as he saw one of us in uniform, I've been here before, I've been here before. And sometimes they would tell you the play or the movie or the event that had occurred while they were here. Some of them clearly had been told that they needed to stay in line or whatever formation they were in and that they needed to be quiet. And so most of them would simply wave or smile or there were always those who were so fascinated with being in the Orpheum, with seeing all of the glitter and all of the items to which they were um, exposed would almost fall over each other if the line stopped because they were concentrating on the ceiling and the lights and all of the things that they saw around them. So this really is my favorite story about that kind of an event. I was standing facing the front door and in walked a, an adult or two uh, with the children and the children, of course, were proceeding in single file toward us, toward the do open doors of the theater. And one little boy was having great difficulty keeping his eye on the people in front of him so that he could walk in sequence or in concert with the rest of them. And finally, he was passing me, and he looked up at me with these big, bright eyes, and he said, oh, they have butlers here. And that's my favorite Orpheum story. Thank you.